Hi there Photoshop Elements users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This video tutorial is going to look at three different ways to adjust lighting. These ones here, shadows, highlights, brightness, contrast, and levels. In this situation, shadows, highlights, awesome. The other two, eh, brightness, contrast does what brightness, contrast does, and levels is a bit better than that, but not nearly as good as the results you get with this. So let's look at the three of them. So we'll start off with, why did I do that? Okay, brightness contrast. This is uh, the one that I used a lot when I was a new Photoshop Elements user. Now I hardly ever open it up. Okay, so we want to lighten this up, right? Um, I took this picture and my, I guess my camera was, I don't know what it was metering, um, because it was a pretty nasty shot. So we're going to brighten this up to get the foreground. So now the uh, the sky is just blown out, and these trees are just almost blown out as well. So that's not really good. We can fiddle around with the contrast a bit, uh, but you know it, it makes it darker again. So, and this one doesn't do it. And click OK. Eh, don't like it. So let's go back up here to uh, the original and the uh, undo history, and we're going to go to the second method. That would be levels. Levels is pretty much a cure-all, and it's it's a really neat adjustment. Uh, now, the funny thing about this is there's a few pixels here, and that would be all the sky. Then from here to here, right there to there, there's there's hardly any pixels, maybe a few, and then the rest of it is all here in this in this dark area, uh, the high, uh, well the shadows and the low midtones. So let's drag this over a little bit and see what happens. It certainly is uh, brightening up the foreground, but again, it's kind of blowing out the sky in the background, although you can see a bit of this mountain right here, and there's a bit of a cloud right there, and we can fiddle with this one as well, but that's not going to help us. So it's, uh, it's, it's not doing the job. Now I'm going to reset this, and we'll try one of the eyedroppers, get the darkest spot. Nah, that didn't work. The lightest spot with a white point uh, eyedropper. Whoops. Okay, let's get on there. That didn't do anything. So th that one didn't work. Now let's go to the good one. And, and it, maybe it's not good in all situations, but in this situation, it's awesome. So this is going to default to 25% light and shadows right away. This is better than the other two. Now. I want to darken up the uh, the highlights a bit, so we're going to drag this one across. See what we get. See now we got the cloud and we got the mountain back there. And if I go a bit farther, we'll even get a bit more. Isn't that awesome? That is amazing. It does a great job. Now we can fiddle around with this. Do the contrast. It's going to probably yes it did. So maybe we can light the shadows up a bit more. So let's click OK. Now that is quite a change. That is so much different from the uh, brightness contrast and the levels, and it actually saved this image from, well, the garbage, the trash, whatever you happen to put it in. So there's the original, and there's shadows highlights. So give this a try. Find an image like this where you've you know, you tried to do a good job, but your meter just went crazy. You always blame the meter, okay? Always blame your camera meter. And uh, just just see how it works out. I think you'll find it's amazing. I use this a lot now. Now that I've figured it out, I use it quite a bit. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Um, visit my site if you came in through YouTube. And uh, the uh, URL is up here somewhere. I haven't put it in yet, but it'll be there. So thanks for watching. I appreciate the time you spent. Bye now.